Sizing is one of the most difficult things when it comes to Doc Martens. Trying to find your perfect size can be very difficult because for some reason, Doc Martens, they vary a lot. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through my experience with my Doc Martens because I have a lot of them. I think about 10 pairs of Doc Martens, not too sure. I'll find out in this video. And within those 10, I feel like it can help about 90% of people who want to get Doc Martens. And then I'll be comparing my actual size to each and every Doc Martens boots that I do have. Some of them, they did vary in size, but my foot haven't grown or anything. So hopefully this video helps. The first thing I did was measure out my foot. My foot is about 10.7, 10.8 inches, which lands on the Doc Martin chart that they give online. It's a little bit above a size eight, but it's not as big as a size nine. And I mostly go for a size nine simply because I can't fit a size eight. The first pair of boots are my 1460s. These ones, I went with a size nine. They feel very comfortable. And the ones that I do have for my 1460s, I have them made in England. They're good, they're not that narrow. I mean, it takes some time to break into, but they feel fine. I also have 1460s in the winter grip. They're also a size nine. And these, I'll have to say, I guess, they're true to size. I'm not even sure what that means, but yes, according to their chart, they go exactly according to their chart. So a size nine for me was perfect. And also, other boots that was very similar to this true to size method were my 1461s, my Chelsea boots, my 3989s, and my Jadens. Like these are all very similar, seem like they all have the similar 1460 model and they mostly for the most part, they all fit the same. Another tip that I'll give you is it depends on the leather. Most leather, they're a little bit free, but I noticed with the vegan leather, they're a little bit tight for me. So when you're trying to buy these just make sure you look into it and another disclaimer i've never tried any of the female the woman shoes so i don't know i've heard they're a little bit narrow but i'm not 100 percent sure but on the guy side i know that the vegan ones are a little bit narrow but everything else around size nine i'm good and i also give it that breathing room to break into you know i don't want it to be too tight or too loose where my foot is like wiggling in my boots so a size nine for those are perfect they're more true to size so these are the ones that might trick some people they're a little bit different they're a little bit out there so the first one might be the comb tech i've tried the comb tech and they're good they fit a size nine but also the ones that i do have they're not the comb tech or they're similar but i had to drop a size down but i actually like them so i would definitely recommend you to go out and try these the only reason why i bought it a size down i actually read a review and then literally as soon as i bought it i stuck to panic just a little bit i went to the doc martin stores to try them on and then i felt a little bit better because the sizing down they fit perfectly but the comb tech i did try one of them out and i could put on a size nine so it's up in the air my biggest thing with this is just to try them on the tericolos that i do have i had to size down so hopefully this helps but the comb text is something that literally I think is true to size, but please try them in stores. I'm not 100% sure with them. When it comes to sandals, I have about two pair of Doc Martin sandals. I have like the clog one, the one that looked like the Birkenstocks, you know, the new woo woo. I actually had to go a size up on that, but I think I went a wrong size simply because it was originally meant for my dad and I got a size 10. I usually wear a size nine and at first they fit well, but over time, once you start breaking into them, they got a little loose and I do feel like they're a little bit big for me. So I guess I can go true to size, but it's very tricky. So the mules, I think that's what it's called. They were good, but trying to figure out my size was a little bit difficult with that one. And I don't think they have them in stores or I haven't seen them. If you have, please comment down below. Let us know and then also i have these other pair of sandals i forgot the name of it but they're iced out i'll put the name on screen and i literally went a size down with these i had to try them in stores i think i bought it online i don't know every time i buy stuff online for doc martens i literally have to go to the store to try them out before 
I think I might have to return them immediately. So with these ones, I did go a size down. I did read it was a little bit big and it's a good thing that I went a size down. These are probably my favorite Doc Martin sandals. They fit perfectly. They look good. Every time I do wear them, I actually do get compliments on them. So I made a whole review on them and I like them so much. The sandals, they're good. They fit comfortably. And um, I had to go a size down with this. So yeah, they're not true to size. They're weird, but definitely when it comes to sandals i haven't seen like a sandal guide or anything like that but sandals can be a little bit tricky for some reason it's just spotty some of them fit weird some of them are good so i don't know how to exactly help you with the sandal guide but the ones that i do have yes i think one like the mule kind of is either size up or true to size depending and then the other ones that i do have i do feel like i had to size down and they fit perfectly the last pair of Doc Martens that I do have that were a little bit tricky was the Adrian's. Somebody please comment down on their experience with the Adrian's. But for me personally, when I went to try them on in stores, they were very different. Like literally the Becks, they fit a little bit tighter. So I had to go like up, up. I think I had to do what a size eight or nine. But yeah, they were not fitting as normal while the other ones, they fit regular. So when it comes to the Adrian's, I'll personally, I'll just say go to the store because even me and the employee, I was like, wait, what? These are the same shoes, but like they're fitting differently and things like that. And also when it comes to the Adrian's, they're slip on. So they're supposed to fit a little bit. I won't say snug, but they're narrow, too. So it's something trying to work out can be difficult, especially if you have wide feet. So the Adrian's, they are I've seen a lot of reviews they're very popular i do like the the loafers but they can be tricky you know so ordering them online probably do not recommend but if you measure out your foot i'll say for the normal ones yes they're kind of true to size but i don't know the becks they weren't really true to size for me so that's just my personal experience please 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 help each other out comment down below on how you figured out your doc martin size and things like that. I'll be in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I did help. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm always there. I'm active. Thank you again.